to create air terminal first we go to system then air terminal click on air terminal now here it's not shown up and if I want to place it here it's not shown up because the offset is zero and we are at high level above for ceiling so we need to give it this uh, the height of the ceiling so we don't know what the ceiling's height is first press escape then go to annotate click spot elevation then here spot elevation it shows you uh, the elevation of the ceiling it's 2600 so the air terminal i will place it in 2600 again i'll go to system air terminal now when you click the air terminal and this property palette you have choice what kind of air terminal you want for exhaust grill you have return and supply so it's up to you whatever you want to put you can change it anytime so here 600 by 600 face 300 300 connection which means this is this one is 600 by 600 which means to align with the ceiling and the connection outside the output which means 300 by 300 so I'll choose supply then I'll give it the offset 2600 then look it appears so I'll put it here first so it's, it's important to align it press uh, AL shortcut then align with the ceiling again I'll copy this one from this line to this line so this is the supply I'll copy them both copy from here to here so I want to change this one into return type of diffuser just both of them select and come here you have return diffuser change it then the symbol will be changed also. again if I want to create here another additional if I click air terminal by default it will come 2600 otherwise we can click here uh, create similar create similar so that we can put another air terminal here align this is this copy I'll change this one later. Okay, for example, this one is enough for us. Now, here, if I click this diffuser, each diffuser have its own the airflow. You can see it here. Now, this diffuser or this air terminal, the flow is here. It's mentioned here, 235. So, the, if the standard is 235, you can keep it there. But in the schematic or in the specification, I'm sorry, if it is 150 LS, so that you can change it into 150 LS. Let's change it 150 for instance. I will change, right click, select all, visible in view. So all the uh, supply will be selected, change it from here, 150 if you want to change it manually. Again, return also same things, select all, visible in view, then make it 150. Second, I will add one VAV here. Just go to system, mechanical equipment, I'm sorry, mechanical equipment. Then from this list, search VAV, you have here VAV. So from this VAV, we have 300 ML inlet because that one is output 300. You can choose anything as per your schematic or as per the request. I will click this one. And again, it's not shown. And from here, offset, I need to check it. To, uh, so VAV should, shouldn't be 2600 because the diffuser is 2600. So always the mechanical equipment should be higher than the diffuser, right? Because why? 
this is the mechanical equipment then the duct is going out from the mechanical equipment then it will connect to the diffuser so we need to give it this one higher so i'll give it uh, 3250 so that it will become higher now i'll put the VAV here one of them if i press before i click if i press uh, space it will rotate it so let's choose one of one way or click here so here we have supply and now i will again I'll rotate it okay and i will add another also same things very okay, similar from here so similar I'll add here or we can use one only so this one we can make it as a branch for everyone all right so I'll add another also mechanical equipment AHU so to add the AHU again system mechanical equipment from here we can choose the AHU or you know how to load it already that's why i'm not loading it again same time i will go load family again that's this is mechanical go to mechanical then mep then air side component is for air uh, air terminals and so on we have where you will find it here air terminals if i go to air handling units that's for hu i'll go to air handling unit so from here i will choose for instance, I'll choose this one, M air handling split system vertical. Then I'll press open, click open. The reason why it's coming over right the existing is because of I have already the linked file. So first I need to go to ground floor because I'll put it in this ground floor. Go to ground floor plan, I'll keep it here. Electrical equipment. Now, here AHU vertical we have. We have 357. This is the type. What kind of type it is, you can see it here. Just click any and the offset is zero, ground floor. Okay. I can't place it because I need to check the VV. I'll go to VV, mechanical equipment, I'll check. Mechanical make it mark. Mechanical equipment is it's hidden, so I'll make it on. Apply. Okay. Now I can load it. Can you have equipment? Here we go. You can see it properly. I'll make it in this area. All right. So let's go to our ceiling plan. GF. We can't see it, right? Because that one is low. So if you can't, if you want to see it easily, you have uh, underlay option. This underlay, it's none. Make it ground floor so you can't see any equipment what's in ground floor. Here it is. So this is our AHU. So we will try to connect from this AHU to our VAV. From this a VAV, we will give return and supply to the diffuser. <coughs> now. Let's create the system. First, it's same like electrical what we did. We can create the system that way. First, we click the diffuser, duct. You see, before when we create power, remember, it gives, it gives us power and uh, switch, right? For in mechanical also, same things we have duct. So click duct. Then supply air, what, what kind of system you need to supply air. See, by default, it comes supply air. We don't have return air. The reason why it comes supply air because we chose the supply air terminal. So supply air, then press OK. So here the boundary. Now we can come here, edit system. We click edit system. Then add to system this one. Then add select equipment. Our equipment will be this one. 
then finish so once I select the equipment it shows us system equipment name is VAV so click finish now it becomes blue so press tab just hover your mouse to the system press tab and generate layout just well when I draw I'm not using this generate layout but it gives you guiding which way to connect and which way that better if you draw it manually so it gives you this way so I need to rotate it back cancel you see I don't want it this way because this way I want it to connect to a tube so on this matter no problem generate layout solution here shows you this point this way you need which way you need the countries from here if you need like this okay so we can go to setting and main and branch you have so the main what kind of duct you want to use from here it's a rectangular duct or round duct you can choose it from there by default it's uh, rectangular rectangular duct radius elbow okay so offset it shows me 2750 now this one is the main 2750 you can make it it's better if you make it higher because 2600 is the diffuser so you need to push it a little higher than that but if you keep this that way somewhere else it will clash let's see what will happen I will keep it 2750 branch also same 2750 if you have any flexible uh, if you are going to use any flexible conduit I mean that here it, it will you can give it the amount or so what you need like 1800 or sometimes they will give you 200 only maximum or 300 mm 300 centimeter then you can give it here into by millimeter wise you can add it then I'll press ok then make finish see what happened in this area we, we still have in this area we still have a problem either way maybe it's clashing or maybe it's short or maybe it's not we don't have enough space for the fitting to what do you call it to bend or another thing so okay I'll press okay now let's see it in 3d where the problem is I'll select this all go to 3d look now this is why I don't like the automatic first here the rotting is not good see from up it go down and it's turn the other side so I will solve the problem manually I'll make it little down this section box so that I can see the you see we don't have enough space this is the diffuser but the ducting coming is almost same level so most of the time the ducting should be up higher I'll go plus third what is this height let's see this one is 30 to 50 I'll give it 30 to 50 and we will see what it will come 30 to 50 solution okay setting Thirty two fifty and branch thirty two fifty is okay and finish. See no, no problem. If you give it the right number, it has no problem. Nothing will happen. I will make a section view from here to here. Lip go to view. Now let's look. Here it's connected. Make it fine. This way it's connected. Okay. So this is okay. No problem. Another way. I'll copy this part. I'll show something here. There is some connection the way how you need to connect. 
I will create that thing here first. That the first connection will be here. The second one, I will create here one duck. So this one is 2600, right? I will give this to 2800. Now, in your shop drawing, or if you guys are mechanical, sometimes we have the diffuser, so we need to connect it straight to the duct, right? Sometimes you need to connect it with flexible ducting, or sometimes you have critical place also, you need to find a solution. So how do we connect that? We will see it. First, I'll create a section here. I'll move it here. Go to view. Okay, this is our diffuser. What you need to do, you need to create first up a duct from the diffuser, from section view, because some, you, can, you cannot draw it from plan view. I'll create here, change into pink because that's return, but this one is blue, so that one is supply. How do you know it's supply or not? Just select the duct and go to this proper palette. System type, it shows you supply air. Change it here, click here and make it return air, then the color will be changing first. Second one, I'll create this diffuser and I'll click here again. Because this is not actually the actual diffuser if you look at it at the site, because the, your client or you can download from online, there is a diffuser with plenum, right? It has like a box above the diffuser. From there, you can connect it. So, here we go. From here, we connect one ducting. I will join them. To join this, we go to trim. First, you can use trim or you can extend this one until the center. This is the first option. So this way, you can connect it. The second one, here, maybe you don't have enough space, okay? This is 3300. This one also 3300. I'll give it. The system name for this, I need to change it here into return. Yeah. Again, if you want to start from here to here, you want to connect flexible duct. How do you how do you draw that? Just you go to system, this flex duct. Click flex duct, click from here to here. From up it shows you that it's created properly, right? Go to 3D view. Oh. Go to 3D view and look at it. This is not the right way to draw the flexible duct. So don't depend always on the plan view. Check it always. Make just a section view and check it. So I'll go again. I'll remove this flex. I'll trim this one to connect it or to extend. First, always we need one ducting here at the beginning. Then after that, we'll draw the flex. So right click on this one, create similar. So first align this one, just it has like what they call it, a snap, right? So if you don't have snap, go to manage. And you see this magnet symbol over here, click there. These are for snaps. So you can mark from here in point, near, same like in AutoCAD. Make them mark it all, so that it will show you when you reach from the center, it will show which one is the snap. So we go to system again, we create duct here, right click, create similar. If I use create similar, it will give me same height and same duct size. Click from here, little bit out. All right. Now, let's check the 3D. Here, it's correct. So you can start drawing the flexible conduit in the plan view, or you can plan it. You can draw it here in 3D also. Just see zoomed in a little bit. It will show you center point. Click there, and here also. Press tab. 
you can it is not possible go to plan view from here it's easy to draw it flex but when you draw flex again check here what kind of system you are drawing return or supply by default if i make it supply and if i try to connect it look what kind of information you receive it's, uh, information is coming it tells you that it's different system so once you receive like that try to remember what you here in this first select the flex and try to check the system name again flex change it into return air click here and here now it's connected I'll check BX yeah this way you can connect with it flexible I'll go tap <coughs> So if you want to change the view, now here, if you see it, okay, any person can understand this one is flex or something. If you want to change the, the view in, from single line into flex type, you can go here in this graphics, single line, change it into circle. You can change it oval type. Or you can change it into flex type. You have curve and flex. So this way you can draw it in your plan view. So... Typical, even here, same things. Okay, similar. And another way, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll create, I'll just connect it straight. So, if you want now, if you check it again, same things. It's okay. This is the reason why it shows us like orange when you connect it automatic. It shows you here orange type because this is the fitting you see the fitting itself is big so if this duct part is lower so the standard fitting cannot fit with the air diffuser because of that you will receive that kind of message so manually you need to fix it all right again i'll reduce this ducting so if you want to put end cap for this duct most of the times they do end cap also just select that here open end cap click in this open end cap so one additional end cap will appear here or right click in here then you have open end cap here in this dot right click cap open end click there you see one additional coming here this one is the end cap if you want to make it thin and thick line, the view, you see this part is thin line. Click that, the line will become thin so that you can see it properly. If I click it in here, it will become very thick. That's why you can see the end cap. Now you can see the end cap properly, right? This is the end cap. Okay, but if you don't like the end cap, if you don't have end cap, just delete, select and delete. This one also delete it. If you want to make bending radius, just trim this line with this line so it will give you the bend radius select this bend and you can change it from here also it's radius type you have also you, you have also sorry milter i will make it standard so it will give you like right right angle like straight but most of the time which one is chosen by mechanical the bend if you don't have any option or if you are in critical situation you will use this milter I think the reason is because if you use the bend type of uh, ducting fitting, the air is passing smoothly, correct? Mechanical. The, the air is passing smoothly, but if it is like this type, milter type, so the first the air will hit in this area, then, I mean, it has a difference in the speeding, right? That's, that's because, because of that, they are using the bend type radius. So you can you can change it here. Revit actually most of the times they used it. We don't have lots of work in electrical or mechanical is very helpful. Okay, so you already know the way how to connect. So always we need to use section. If it is not uh, easy to understand it, just use section. Especially if it is parallel, the ducting coming parallel. If you want to connect it, you need to use section. Okay. <clears throat> So this way it's coming, supply. I have also this way another supply. So I'll remove this one. I'll remove this, delete. 
I will modify it because always it doesn't mean that you need to use it but automatically give it to me so we have you know sense of humor right which one is going to the right place which one is not so we will fix it from here from here we have supply just click in this symbol click here this symbol is for supply if you click this symbol it will create for you the duct now the duct size is 300 diameter it shows you here so which way you want to connect this one I'll make from I'll create from here one to this way because I need to connect with just uh, supply air the other one now if I click here and I will have plus symbol same like cable tray click this cable uh, plus symbol then right click draw that and I will come here so I will join this one to this and I will connect this to also this way so I will trim it trim this one with this one look what comes here of this size and this size are not the same it gives me reducer because this one is what 350 and this one is 300 so you can change this 300 also press tab tab Duct. You can change it here. Three hundred. The height also three hundred. Manually we can change it that way so that the reducer here is changing. <coughs> but we have in this area also. We will see later. Now let's connect this part. Right click, draw duct. From here I'll come. Then straight I'll connect it here and from here also same things I'll connect it here okay now maybe sometimes they will give us let's see the inspection for this I'll select the system inspector we have here click on this system inspector to see where it's going the flow then click inspect here we go it shows us this one is going this way this one coming it's not properly right it's coming this way that way this way that way so to, to fix this problem we can put rules there like first I'll choose this side duck I'll delete something oh problem here Look. I select it now filter if you want to remove the duct duct and duct fitting okay then delete I'll create one cable tray from I mean ducting from here create similar make it straight with this okay now press tab And here we have duct pipe sizing okay from here to here you go to duct pipe sizing <coughs> so the engineers or in your specification it will show you the velocity should be uh, 5.1 ms so you'll put the limit this ducting routing should be 5.1 ms because here what we used in this plan is just a default we gave it 300 because it's not obvious also from here it will come maybe 300 then until here it's 300 then in this area it will reduce the size because it's for one ducting now velocity or by equal friction or by static or by friction size you can change it here what's given you can mention here let's go by velocity first 5.1 as sample we can use it then i'll press ok now the duct size will be changed i'll press ok let's take a look see now that size in this area has changed click here 275 before it was 300 now 275 in this area it's changed into 300 again i'll select this duct i'll make the inspection system inspection inspect now let's take a look 
here we have 300 ls when i reach here we have 150 ls you see this one there is flow 150 if i come this area it's becoming 300 because what happened here also 150 now for the air terminal i gave it by manually 150 150 so the airflow will come from here it will come 300 total when it reach here 150 will divide this way the other way also 150 so this all are 150 when it reach here this is correct way so the size because of that the size of uh, the ducting has changed and again we need to change this way same things press tab now it's selected all just duct sizing make it 5.1 press ok here now all duct size has changed as per the uh, as per the specification <clears throat> again i will create for this return air you can move it here hmm? VCD, yeah, 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 we will see that one. That one is accessory. VCD, FD, those things are accessory. First, let's finish because in every wall, when it passes, you need right yeah, MD or VCD or something. That one is accessories. We will add that one first. Let's connect this one uh, again. From here, we will have return. I'll make it one up. So if I put if I go straight ahead, it will clash with this first. Let me go straight and let's check it if, it's, if we have a clash between these two. I'll select these two, control, and go to 3D. We don't have this option in Revit 2015, this 3D or BX. But if you install your software 2016 and above, you have easily you can check it in 3D. So I'll go ahead, take a look. See now this pink color is clashing with our the return system is clashed with the other one so i need to make it up <coughs> i will change i'll size it from here now let's come here i'll split it from this side don't bother okay when you zoomed in this one over here you see this rectangle it will hide when you zoomed in so i'll go modify then split this dot split from here here delete again this one i'll give it uh let's see what's the size this one 30 to 50. if you want to make it high just give it more than let's see 30 to 50 let's give it 3500 this for example okay always we, all, we will follow as for the coordination in the MEP works so Again, let me move it until here. Close hidden. Let's check it. Make it back view. Still, it's clashing, right? So let's move it up to avoid the clash. <coughs> Look, guys, this one, this is the slab right this is not correct but i'm just moving it up because i need to show you the way how to solve it if i if you need me to avoid with the clash with the slab because this mechanical equipment also i need to make it down let's see i'll make it down what happens here we have a problem where somewhere in the air terminal for sure because we make it high so we need when we move it down because this architecture itself didn't uh, they didn't design based on that is for a small so we will move it up a little bit okay now no problem we don't have any clashing so i will align this with this so to do that just draw that and 3d view you need to go to section view you need to create now section in this area go to view
draw that over to here. So this way we created it. Now we can't see it because of view range. So we need to adjust the view range also. Mechanical ceiling. View range will make it dependent. Play OK. So <clears throat> if you press VR, it will come the view range. Now I'll give here ground floor. I'll make it 5000. The top of the ground floor is 5000. Nothing. 4000. This one make it unlimited. Apply. Okay. So this is the ground floor. The top of the ground floor I gave it 4000. And from 2300, between 2300 to 4000, if you want to see it, I just give it the view range so that. From 2300 level until 4000, it, it will show me what's what's in there. So this is our duct now. I'll put it here. I'll move it this way. Okay, similar. Is that angle one? Okay. Again, I'll create from here section B. Right click, go to view. This is a one. Let's create it up. Then move it this way. This way. Okay. Now I created here, right? Make it fine so that you can see properly. Because now I need to connect this duct with this one so your first priority is to align it needs to be aligned to connect it so this this center point click there the point and come here press tab it will show you the center point again still not fixed just go down again align click here and press tab tab again center you see center to center it's connected now the size of this uh, ducting is 400 by 350 in supply is different for return the output is different here now from here to here 400 by 50 but how about this one 300 by 300 so this one first I will change the size in this area right click draw and make it 300 by 300 so I'll go until the center draw 300 300 just go straight ahead gives us so now you can trim this one with this one trim this with this part so it gives us let's check the let's check it here here we go it's connected <clears throat> okay so to create for this one also same things from here draw that go to the center you can so move this section indicator over here So this size need to be here. I'll put the, re the reducer started from in this area so that I can connect it easily from this same size. So again, go to view, make it this one fine, move it up. Once we center, just move it down. Okay, then if you make it trim, this one with this one, you cannot. So if you can't, you need to go to the plan view again. So first check the height of this. It's already aligned 3600 and check this one also. 
30, it's not aligned, you see. So I'll make this one 3600 first. That's important. Now I'll click from here and connect them. You can't undo. Let's check the section. <coughs> Yeah, we can't connect them because it's not aligned. Again, I'll align it. Align. Press tab. Tab again. It's aligned now. So, try to trim from here to here. Now we can't. Because the problem is, the other side will be deleted. So, instead of to avoid that kind of mistake, just come to the plan view and extend only. It won't give us. So there is second option. If there is, it's not coming. Keep it. Keep it as it is. Go to view. Because if one way didn't come, you can choose another way. Just. I'll again. I'll align. It's aligned, right? I'll trim it. This one is this one. What will happen here? This one is cancelled, correct? So just select this fitting, this setting, then plus symbol you have. Then from here, draw it again. Product. Okay now? So always we need to be flexible. If one way is not coming, we need to check it to the other side. What remains here? Mm. Okay, so for this case, I'll copy this part or create similar from here to here. Again, create similar from here to here. So if you don't need anything, ah, move it this way first to the left side to get enough space to connect it with this. Go to view. Now those are our diffusers. Go up. And again, over here we have what up. Look now, it's see what happened. It's far away, right? When you connect it, it will by default it will connect it the horizontal side. Again, this is the one. It's not parallel. It's over here. But if you connect it, then it will give you by default the fittings. I'll connect it. Okay, let's check it now. Press tab. Here we go. So that now this one, if you don't, if you need it, just um, put in cup. If you don't like it, you can bend it or right click, put cup opening. <clears throat> now, in this area, I didn't put any open end. So, if you want to see that uh, which place in which place we don't have any connection or something remaining, go to analyze and here we have show disconnects. Click this show disconnects, then ducts. Press OK. It will show you exclamation mark. See now, those ducts are connected properly, but in this part, it's not connected properly. Then just go there, right click, and cup open end to remove. But this one still we have a connector to connect with AHU so that it will remain that. 
So wait, if you don't like it, you need to get rid of it. Just show disconnect, remove this duck, okay, then it will go. <coughs> again, press tab and duct pipe sizing again. We need to make it 5.1, press OK, then it will show us the result. See here all it changed, but in this area we have to fix things. So OK, I'll press OK. Then I'll remove this part, delete. I'll trim it, this one with this one, so it will create bend type. Again, press tab. Now, even this one, it looks something, right? So you can remove it. You can remove this part, delete. So this one, move it a little bit in this area. Then trim if it's OK. All right. Then now press tab, tab, tab. All will be selected. Then that sizing, 5.1 same velocity. Press OK. It's OK and nothing is happening. All right. This way we will create the return and supply. So I will connect it now, this VAV to our <coughs> AHU. So in this AHU, we have here supply, first thing, and we have here Okay, let's create section B again. Go to view. <coughs> now, go to view, apply properties, all electrical section. make it fine this is our supply I'll change the scale if I change this scale 1 to 50 or something the text height also will be changed okay so you can move this leg the, the level view little bit out okay but still it shows me second level why was that why it's coming because of the linked file in our linked also we have so if you create one uh, the template itself, you can modify the template so it can remove it. Now, go to view template, all, electrical section view. From here, link file, custom, mm -hmm. model, levels, check levels. We don't have levels, so go to annotate, make custom, press levels. Remove the levels, then it will hide the levels for linked file. Apply OK. Apply OK. OK. Now, this is our AHU side view. And our supply, the output is going from up, not from the side. So that's why it gives me, because I wrote it, I give it the road to side. So I will go up. Now, the size is 406 by 356. But our ducting in here is 280 by 350 to 80. Now, 280 by 350. I'll change it here. Draw duct width to 80 by 350, right? So I'll go up. So I'll do the reducer here instead of up. Again, trim. To trim this one, I can uh, can first. I need to go up, draw up, then bend. So align it. This one with this line. 
So move it to the next duct. There is a problem. So go to plan view. Go to plan view. This is the one. So I need to go to the other side. Huh? So we need space, more space, so that we can push this one over here. Adjust it. Draw. Again, I will adjust it a little bit, move this part so that we can get enough space. Now, this is the one, the upper one. So let's see the level of this 30 to 10. Over here, 30 to 10. So we can trim it from this to this. Still, we don't have space. So if you don't have space, the bend of this one, you can change it. What is the bend? Let's see. Go to mechanical setting. Over here. Duct. Size. Edit type. Angles conversion. Okay. Let's check it here. So here now it's connected. Or if you want, now if you have like this kind of critical situation, you can change this one also into mill third. Change it into mill third so that you'll, you'll have enough space in this area. So go to view. Let's check it. It's connected properly. Now in this area, it's connected the supply air. From this AHU, it's coming to BAV. From BAV, we extend it this way. All right. Now let's check the our schedule and let's compare it with uh, what's given in that report for heat and load calculation. First, we go to uh, schedules and quantities. Right click and new schedule quantities. Then <coughs> we need to calculate space because every report will find it in space. We don't have uh, different like. <clears throat> we don't create for air terminals and so on. In, in this inside the space or inside the room, how many airflow we have or the capacity, everything, we'll, we'll find it here under space. Space, name, you can give it any name. Space schedule, press OK. Then from here, we will choose some... titles. We will choose name. We will choose actual air supply and area. Calculator supply airflow. And actual supply airflow. Uh, 
actual supply airflow. So the calculated supply airflow is the one which is given in the report for heat and load schedule. <coughs> I'll press OK. Then here it gives us. <coughs> so this, those are the spaces. So in each space gives us this name. Now the space doesn't have a name, so that gives you only space, space, space. Not only by number, I need to add a number. Again, field number so that I'll put it up. Space name, then number will come. Okay, so here, space number one has 37 uh, square <coughs> meter and calculated airflow is 765, but actual supply airflow is 300. Now, we, we can give it also a formula that to know what, what's remaining airflow so that if you reach the limited it will show you by minus this one remaining or if you extend also it will give you how much remaining and how much more you are going so again I'll go to field I can create one customized field name here so I'll click in this function parameter then I'll click one remaining airflow. This is the title name. So anything I create, it will show up here. So discipline is HVAC. So type is airflow. So from here, I'll give it a calculation. So the calculation is calculated airflow supply minus to actual airflow supply then I'll press ok so this is a one so the form as part of the formula it will give us the result here now the remaining airflow is this much so the calculated is 465 but in this room we created 300 ls see, now let's see I'll close this part all what is this no need Now let's see here. I'll, in this room, I will create one air terminal again. Right click, create similar here. This one is space number one, okay? You remember? This room is space number one. So here, space number one, just check it what will come here. I'll click here so that 450 actual becoming 450. So it remains 315 so that I can add also another additional uh, diffuser in this room. I will add one more. So what's remaining? 165 remaining. So based on this, the number of diffuser you can calculate it. Why the reason? I mean, what's the reason? We don't need this much actually for this small, for a small room, this much diffuser. The reason why it's coming because I edited it manually to 150. But if your actual, the airflow, as per the specification, is, if it is 250, you cannot go up more than four diffusers. So this way you can control your airflow. <clears throat> now I will add one more. Now as per this specification, I will add one more again. Create similar, I will add one more in this room. So it becomes 15 remaining. That's, this time you can stop, then you can continue your work. For the other space, also for the other room, same things. So once you reach the limit, you will stop. Now, if I put another more, it will show you minus. Look now, minus 134. We already exceeded by 134. If it is minus 15, minus 20, no problem. But 130 something is a lot. So because of that, you need to reduce the diffuser. So this way, you can create the schedules for airflow. Okay, I will, I will duplicate this. Hmm. 
get out of them. Okay, I'll duplicate this file. Then I'll call it Duct Legion. <clears throat> so I need to create that Legion from here. So first I will hide those spaces. I'll go to VV. Space. Hide it. I'll arrange the 